Let's do this. Welcome to another stream. Making the game song ringer. Today I'm gonna be streaming a playthrough of the whole game. It's my first time ever doing this with the curse ring. Let's do this. So once again, I'm playing on my um I love this Super Nintendo controller thing with the analog sticks. I'm gonna play on that. My headphones, testing out the ring. I'm in debug mode. I'm not actually testing the Steam version because I'm too lazy to go build it all right now. I don't want to take the time to go rebuild the whole game. It takes like about 15 minutes to boot for all platforms. All right. So, that sound and all that. Uh -oh. Something to do with the volume. There we go. Okay. So definitely not gonna do permadeath mode because I know I'm gonna probably die a lot, especially on these bosses. I'm gonna play the world seed I know. This is to just make sure I can compare it to what I know and make sure that nothing really has changed other than the fact that everything is more difficult with the curse ring. So I have to go get the curse ring. I'm not in permadeath mode, so I can't skip and go get it. So I have to fight the very first mini boss without the ring. But that's not going to be too big of a deal. So let's go get the cursed ring. Cool. We got this new scene where there's a bunch of drops floating in cryo. There's a couple other new things I just did recently. Um, you can, when you freeze water, it's no longer super blocky. Like it used to be just super rectangular when you freeze water. And now um, it's got a nice little random edge. Looks like a, looks more like organic water, frozen wood. Look, I imagine. So if you don't want to know how to get the ring, stop paying attention. Alright, now we got the ring. Every enemy is now has about 50% more hit points, 50% um, more damage on their normal attacks, 25% more damage on their regular collision attacks. Um, maximum intelligence.
Oh yeah, these guys have green eyes now, make them a little more distinct versus the other guys. They're also drops, those are the drops twos. They can throw top hat, or not the top hat, but a boomerang style horn. Spiders take a couple hits. Pillars actually have double health too, or 50% more health, or something like that. His special attack is that he does two. Holy crap! Fucking shit! Just died that fast? <laughs> you gotta be super careful, I guess. Oh my god! This is something I've never experienced in this game before. Okay, so was that the bombs that killed me so fast? It, it probably is. You gotta watch this sh the fuck out of those bombs. Shit. <laughs> oh! This is tougher than I thought it would be. Shit, you gotta be like a ninja. Stuck on the corner. Oh man, that was tough, especially only with three teeth. Wow. Okay. Taking mental notes is very difficult, especially at first. So maybe he shouldn't have so much damage added to his attack. Because that hammer kicked my ass. Down to one heart so fast. One tooth. Did I get what the I'm not blinking. Oh.
fucking hell. Think it's all gonna go smooth, but no. Oh, it always gets hot. I'm talking, streaming. Somehow found it. This is six minus. Oh, it's because this thing has. It. I need to make those auto bound. Because it has an inverted axis, as a lot of these do, with their trigger buttons. They work in this weird way, like the axis is, normally every one of the normal axes in these game pads is like, um, starts at zero and then goes to all the way up to like 32,000 or whatever. Um, but then the, the trigger axes, the ones on the L2 and the R2 on most gamepads, they go from negative like 32,000 at resting point to positive 32,000. It's super weird. So you have to like treat them completely differently or else they bind all weird. And um, when you don't know a gamepad, when you just have no idea what a gamepad is it's like how do you how do you treat that you know do you treat it like a normal axis or do you not so I think my solution to that so far has just been to um, you know recognize certain controllers so we got the curse ring every enemy has more dip more hit points all even these little flies and moths and all that what's up Lime Studios thanks for auto hosting enjoying this level of challenge. It's surprising to say. I thought I would be like stressed out. I guess I'm a little stressed and scared. Uh, uh, I'm afraid of Sawbringer with this difficulty. The r cursed ring has me cursed. Okay, <laughs> like especially this boss. This boss is difficult without a cursed ring. She's got a special attack too. Jeez. Uh, whoa, how did I even avoid that of uh, like quick point? It's Johnny on the spot, Super Ninja. base on that one. Right off of home base, you can say. <laughs> I have a tooth already.
I've only died twice. Each time I die, I get smarter. Hopefully. Let's do this! I ain't afraid of no dragon. Three teeth left, that's great. ring playthrough here this is extra difficulty for all bosses and enemies they all have like more health more damage and special attacks it's my first time ever no son of a bitch oh. third death <laughs> the curse ring should count like how many times you die this is crazy how you doing lion No, dude, don't worry about distracting. I'll pause if I really want to focus. This is probably just the hardest boss fight of all because I, he's, it's a difficult boss already, and in this particular run, I have no extra health. I have no way to refill my health. So it's just like all, all the most difficult things put together. And then you add on this new cursed ring. I get the flow. I got the flow! Oh. Just gotta be careful. Oh! That new special attack. <laughs> Kick my ass! Jeez. This is not easy. Going fast? Yeah? Working on the game? Yeah, dude, good. You can have it on the, on Steam by the summer. It's cool to drag when nearly done. Are you doing like a master's program or something? I thought you already had a degree. You're going to film school, right? School for high school, computer science for college. All right. Okay. What's up, Space? My name. Did I? Oh, did I just quit? I meant to Alt Tab and I Alt Q'd. Sorry, guys. Let me get the chat reloaded here. <laughs> I was like, "Hello, it's goodbye." <laughs> Somehow, Chrome knows exactly where I want to go. Thanks, Chrome. So, please repost anything that I missed there. Oh. Oh. I'm 
doing a cursed ring playthrough, which means that all bosses have, every enemy has more health, more damage, more intelligence, and all the bosses have special attacks, so this is like the most difficult run ever. I've already died four times, and only on dungeon two. But this boss is almost gone, come on! Oh! Oh! This is like super challenging. No, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh! Oh man. Come on. I don't want to die again. When you die like more than three times on the same boss, it starts getting old. I gotta keep all my health. I mean, not getting hit by these guys. <sighs> <laughs> oh man. This is making me pissed off. My week's been good, man. Really good. Yeah. I've just been working on, um, what did I do? I finished these last bosses, effects, special attacks, like I did Metatron special attack, the Thief boss's special attack. I did some more things too, like um, making it so Bell has a, a light as well as Jib. And, um, and I'm gonna make it so the Jib stash affects Bell, so she gets like some kind of extra costume or skin or something like that when you get Jib stash. So, so that if you do have Vel, it's not like a disappointment if you get any jib specific items like the jib light or the jib stash. They'll actually be applied to her as well. <sighs> totally not being careful. Oh, the dra little dragons. Oh, whew. I was lucky. Tooth. Nice block, Jib. Yes. Yes! Oh, with half a tooth to spare. Okay, it is possible. It is super difficult to beat, especially these first two bosses because you have so little health. You have no way to recharge your health. And everything is super difficult with the curse ring. Okay, how are we doing? We got the charged attack. We got the spirits quest. Got the cursed ring. Teleport cube. Yes. All right. So that was probably the hardest part. <laughs> I say that now. Okay, now we're on to the swordless dungeons. These are going to be easy. These are just like collecting items. Go as fast as I can. So, um, Lime, how was your week? What did you have to do for school this week?
Yeah, we got ice. Alright. Okay. Last run, I did ice with my ghost sword. This time, I'm gonna do ice with the top hat. VR grad project? Stupid geology stuff. Nice, you making dev vlogs? Cool. What kind of dev vlogs are you doing? Oh, dev vlog. Like a dev vlog? Like a video vlog? Or like a... Blog post? Vlog? Say video, huh? You said video. <laughs> I'm like, what kind of vlog? And you said video. Derp. I'm feeling a little bit derp today. Cool, yeah. Post a link, please. For my benefit and for others watching. And for anybody that's curious, if you're watching this on YouTube or what have you. Um, Lime makes a cool rhythm game called, am I getting it right, Arrhythmia? Right? It's coming out on Steam this summer. It's got some dope music in it. Okay, we did one, two, four. Oh yeah, we gotta go three. Gotta get the spirits. important, especially going to be important for this run. So like even running into enemies does twice the damage that it normally does. So that's why there's a lot more difficulty. It's like the collision damage is, is it double? Maybe it's only 125%, I'm not sure. Oh right, I forgot about this. I made the edges of the ice look better. I like them because they look kind of like ice cubes. They got this like little squarish look, but now they're not so rectangular, like exactly rectangular, which was, looked really horrible. Before, whoops. I'd like to say I've never done that before, but I do it all the time. Shop, that's right. How was that process? Doing the Steam workshop. And uh, how does it how does it work in your game? Like what a how do people buy stuff? How does it apply in your game?
You can up oh custom you can upload custom levels. Nice. Right on. So does that mean people can um it's a workshop, right? So people can upload their own levels and does that mean they can sell their levels to other players? Is that how it works? Oh, and it was a pain because there's not many code examples. I hear you on that. Remember how much of a pain it was just to do the Steam controller. <clears throat> Even though, I mean, the Steam controller had good examples and stuff. It was a pain though because of this one crazy bug and it only happened in my house. So weird because of my freaking electrical socket. Oh, they shouldn't be able to sell? Oh, maybe I'm confused about how the workshop works. Isn't there, can't you sell stuff on the workshop though? Like players can sell stuff for some things. That was weird. If you hit it at just the right angle, you'll walk backwards right there. Be a good thing to fix. I'm gonna write that down. Notes. All right, we got first swordless dungeon done. Oh, okay. Oh, you never saw that cutscene before? There's um, not too many cutscenes in Songbringer. Probably because I always skip it when I'm doing these runs. Oh, you finished that part, yeah? Maybe it was before. Maybe you finished it a while ago or something. Back in the beta period. Oh, yeah, that too. Okay, so if you're just tuning into this stream, I'm playing through Songbringer for the first time with the Cursed Ring. Cursed Ring adds a bunch of hit points and damage points and all that to all the enemies and gives special attacks to all the bosses, so it's like, it's a lot more difficult, especially the first two bosses because you have such little health and no way to refill your health. But now I'm getting stronger, I got more health, I got the shield. Weaponry. Now I got ice armor. That would have helped for the last boss. <laughs> but the way this run works, it's just not that fast to go get this ice armor before you go fight the ice dungeon. is like an optimal world seed out there.
right? That one world seed, you mean? Yeah, there was also, funnily enough, Potato was like this one world seed that really broke everything. Thankfully, though, that was a good one to get fixed. I was like, what? Potato? I can't remember what the issue was with Potato. It might have been, there was a few different, there was a few different, like, general issues with world seeds that got fixed. One of them was like a 32-bit versus 64-bit error. That was, like, super good to get fixed. So the game functions the same on six, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, because it's both. Has to be both too, because I I did it again. PlayStation I think is 32-bit only. Is that right? That's not, no. Maybe it's the Vita or something. I don't know. Windows version is 32-bit as well, just to be maximum compatibility. Linux is 64, Mac is 64, and 32-bit. I think it runs at 64 bit. Always, something like that. Integers are always 64 bit. Something like that. Yeah, what other, what were the other like world seed issues? There were some differences between permadeath and regular. There are all sorts of general issues with random numbers. Getting those all dialed in, super deterministic. Not the not the random numbers themselves, but the way they were used. The random number generator I've used has been solid the whole time. It's just that the easy thing to do is mess up and be like, oh whoops, I accidentally used that random number in the wrong way. You got affiliated? Nice, man. How are you liking that? What's up? Uh, oh, Shazzle, any more cash? What's, um, and why did you choose to do it? What's your motive for doing the Twitch affiliate? Oh, I have 210? Okay, I need 40 more. Luckily enough, there's some cash right here. I'm curious to see how these next bosses go, because we haven't fought a boss since since the dragon. And that was the toughest one so far. It's kind of the one I expect to be the toughest. Ooh, this is going to be... Oh, no, we haven't gotten the glove yet. There is a replacement overworld pattern. If you have the glove, there'll be a super hard boss right here. Mini boss. But it does reward you pretty well. You get 50 diamonds and a bunch of health back. Okay, should I do... I probably should get as much health as I need. I can right now. from Asia was complaining about buffering? What? Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't know they like made it so only the affiliates can change the quality. Let's 
so I had to kind of turn that down because there was one caveat. You can't, well, according to their, their rules, you're not allowed to upload your video to any others, like, streaming or videos, like, sharing service. So, for example, if I record a video, and it's, it's within 24 hours, so, like, if I record a video, I have to wait 24 hours before uploading it to YouTube, which I was like, fuck that. YouTube's really important to me. I have a lot of people that watch on YouTube. So I didn't want to sacrifice that just to be a Twitch affiliate. And besides, I was like, these bits, these bits are just like almost, I don't know, it seemed, it seemed like the bits would not make much of a difference for me in my stream. And, you know what I mean? There's not that many people that watch these dev streams. Like, I think of maximum had like 30 viewers at once or something like that. 40, 50 maybe. So that's not like enough to generate like tons of bids and like make a good profit from it or anything. So that was just like meaningless. So yeah, but it really ultimately boiled down to the fact that I couldn't upload to YouTube for 24 hours, which just, I don't know, kind of killed it for me. I guess I could just wait, you know, and be like, all right, I can wait 24 hours and then upload, but it just didn't seem right. It messed with my flow, you know, I wanted, I want to like record a video, or stream, you know, do a stream and then just upload straight to YouTube right then, so I don't have to forget or whatever. Oh, you all, you upload them later in the week? Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, and you're making specific YouTube content. Good for you, that's a good idea. I probably should do that too. Sweet backwards throw. Okay, this is the first boss since the dragon. Oh, because I skipped number five, and the last two have been. So this guy's special attack is he's got this ring of fire that goes around the outside. Oh, he needs to recover faster. That's it. Okay, this needs this needs to happen. You don't like the idea? Yeah. So why they gamify giving money too much? <laughs> don't don't worry about that. Um, tell me, yeah, the, I, I get the same kind of feeling, right? It's like when I first started streaming, people used to donate a lot, and it was or not a lot, but like, right? Even if someone donated a dollar, that was a hundred times what a bit is. You know, it's like the bits seem like just way too small to me. It makes it too, it's so small, it's such a small effect that it's like meaningless almost. So make a Puriel with ring recover from being hurt faster. This is one of Puriel's weaknesses is that he has a slow recovery to being hit. This is super, making him super easy. You should probably have ice resistance too. Or at least, um, what the? Ice, not, at least not ice weak. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about the profit split too. Yeah. Now I'm starting to remember why I, it just seemed like a joke to me. I'm like, what? And it's like, doesn't it get better if you're, they have like set different levels of being a Twitch affiliate? 
Like you used to be, you used to have just regular just affiliates. And everyone was striving for that because everyone got paid really well for those first few affiliates for the first years. Everybody's getting like five bucks a month per subscriber and all that kind of stuff. And then they switched it all up and so you can be like a regular affiliate or you can be like a premium affiliate or something like that. So they're just like offering out these regular affiliate things more, you know, more often than they did the premium ones before or whatever. I don't know. Right, the same way mobile games make you buy in-game currency to forget how much you're spending. Totally. Oh yeah, there's three tiers. And then I think the isn't the profit split better or something like that if you're at the top tier? I don't know. We're talking we're talking shit about Twitch. On Twitch. That's okay. I don't think the Twitch police are here. Besides, if Twitch is listening, this should be good feedback for them. Whoa, these spiders are stuck. Why are you stuck, spiders? What is that? Do they get stuck on each other? I've always thought Imperials were the easiest bosses. I don't know why. It's just like not that hard. Wait, I say that and I'm probably gonna die. Oh, pff, that was easy. Okay, something happened there where the spiders got stuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, same here, same here. Maximum, maximum for these like dev streams and creative streams is not anywhere near what it is for like if you're playing a game or you're just a, a regular game streamer. Time. It's 320, alright, it's fine. Okay, be right back. Oh, you're considering streaming some gameplay? Cool. That's probably a good way to do it, yeah. Get more of a following. All for PR. Yeah. Yeah, man. How do you find all that? Like, do you, um, 
how does it work for you? Um, like how, how well does that do all those different channels work for you? Are there certain channels that work better? Did I cold email a bunch of press? Yes. Um, yeah, but um, that was at first when I did, or that was around doing the Kickstarter time. I cold emailed a bunch of press and got a few people to write about Songbringer. But um, that was actually halfway through the Kickstarter. Actually, what, what I did was it took so much work just to launch the Kickstarter that I didn't even have time to email the press right at the Kickstarter's launch. So I actually launched the Kickstarter, and the press wrote about Songbringer anyways. This is maybe because it was back in 2015, so it was still, Kickstarter was a little more hot than it is now. It wasn't, it wasn't anywhere near as hot as it was in 2013 or whatever. But, um, so yeah, the, the press actually wrote about Songbringer without me even emailing them. And it's just because it was on Kickstarter, and it was like, maybe... Um, I think it really helped too that uh, a lot of backers backed in the first 24 hours, and that was because of the stream. I did, a, you know, I was doing lots of streams, and people were psyched for the Kickstarter, and so, um, so basically, yeah, the press wrote about it without me emailing them. But then I emailed them again halfway through the Kickstarter, and a few more wrote about it. But then, after that, the whole press system worked like this because I had a publisher because I had double eleven backing me it was a lot more professional so what we did is we basically um, you know we we had a PR agent that was getting things booked for um, for me to appear with the press and do interviews but also for um, the expo so like coming up to uh, GDC and um, E3 and um, PAX East and all that, all the events that I was at for Songbringer, um, thanks to my publisher, they got a, they got, they had me booked like crazy, you know, especially at the events because the press is at all those events. And when you get to be in person with the press, like it builds some trust. Like I got to actually know a lot of the members of the press and met with them and play, they, you know, talked with them as they played Songbringer for. 15 minutes, some of them a half an hour even, it's like, um, and you know, some of the press, it wasn't really their kind of game, and some of the press was like, really was their kind of game, so you did, you never know who's going to like your game, who's not, but that whole being in person with the press and being right there face to face, shaking hands with them, getting to know them a little bit, was I think really helpful, and, um, and so a lot of the press was already aware of Songbringer before it came out, well, like six months before it even came out. And um, and then uh, the PR agent got me on like a whole bunch more interviews and uh, even was, I was even on the Twitch, um, what was that, uh, the, the pre-pre-show, I was on the E3 pre-pre-show with, um, you know. Oh yeah, it's super expensive though. That's the thing, it's like going to a con is so expensive like if you want to do it on your own you're looking at at least 10 grand you know to have your own booth and pay for the booth and you know just pay for hotels and have like equipment there to play your game on because sometimes you can't even bring your own equipment sometimes they make you rent equipment at certain cons so it's like it's a quite an expense so i understand that completely and that was that's such a huge bonus to having a publisher is like they can they can get you to do that kind of stuff so yeah, um, but it, you still can get the attention of the press, and um, and it's you know like like I, when I did the Kickstarter, that really really was a huge thing for getting some attention from the press because it's just a way to kind of like it almost validates your project because you're on Kickstarter and it you have this sort of professional it's not professional but somewhat you know professional presence in the in the sense that you have a video. If you have a well-written Kickstarter page, if your Kickstarter is being backed and all that kind of stuff, it adds a lot of validity and then the press is like, oh, okay. But some of the press avoid Kickstarters. So you never know, man. There's, there's so many ways to get press and there's so many ways not to get press. It's kind of like an art form. It's really just a lot of it, I guess, was luck for me. I don't know. 
What's the Steam, Steam PR thing? What's that? Oh, what's that? Tell me about that. Curator Connect, huh? What's the gist? Holy crap. This guy is so tough. With the ring, man. Got the glove. It's very beta. Alright. Nice. Got a cactus back there. This is not slowing down at all. Basically allows easy sending of your game through Steam to Steam groups. Oh. pay much attention there. Probably could have played that a lot better because I only have three teeth now. Right, at least it's curators. That's cool. tooth. Every tooth counts here. There we go. Cool. So I'm going to go back to the start of this dungeon walk out and walk back in so I can save my progress with this much health. Because I just got a feeling I'm probably going to die on this boss. Whew. That was close. Okay, so there, it saved my health. Alright. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. I need all the health I can get. close because this guy has more health. And now he's got laser attacks. Look, we gotta dodge that first one. Yeah, laser. Oh, I didn't 
I'm getting hit by the laser, that's good. Woo! That was a lucky dodge. So, the thing is, this guy has more health, and like, I don't know if I'm... This is gonna be super close. possible to beat this guy I've done it but it's close with the ring man the ring gives him 25% more health Whoa. so and it's just like that's why it's so difficult because like he's he's already it's already a close battle and like even like one or two seconds of not hitting him is like 30 to 40 damage you could have done. So, every second matters. Whoa, disappeared. That was weird. the other boss. Try the other boss. Yeah, super hard. <laughs> I guess he wasn't. Yeah, he definitely wasn't as hard in this in the other one. Oh, you're you're up late again, man. Yeah, I hear you. No worries, man. It was good chatting with you. Um, have a good day. What's, what's tomorrow? Is tomorrow school for you? Anyways, yeah, let's see you later, man. Thanks for chatting. Appreciate you. I'll get a little more health and a little more cacti by going and doing this other dungeon. Yeah, no worries, brother. TTYL yourself. this guy. I even have the glove. Tom, are you watching? Shout out to my man, Tom Pedalino. So 
this is uh okay if anybody's just tuning into the stream right now i'm playing songbringer for the first time with the cursed ring so far the first two bosses were crazy difficult because of how little health one has and how much health the bosses have with the curse ring um i just got killed twice in a row with the wall boss so i'm trying to go and do another dungeon and get a little more health first because that's crazy intimidating um i know i've beat the wall boss with the curse ring in debug mode so i know it's possible but it is close even in debug mode it's easy to die it's easy to get so close to beating him and not quite beat him so this may be i don't know the cursed ring is supposed to be really difficult the whole point is this is supposed to be a crazy challenge so i'm not sure if it's more difficult or what maybe maybe not i don't know we'll see if i can beat him this next time it's one thing to beat him in debug mode and it's another thing to beat him in this release mode Watch out for the Viper Jib! This is so easy to get through there. This is um, this dungeon is pretty easy to beat because um, it's dungeon 5 and I was just trying to beat dungeon 8 right there. So I'm basically going backwards to fight to do this dungeon because it just takes more time. I normally That's why I normally skip around it and then come back to it later um, this actually this boss Murmuroff is one of the longest boss fights it can be one of the longest boss fights because he's you can only hit him for you know specific moments while he's you know while he's on the screen oh, there's this horizontal attack His horizontal attack should be faster. Yeah, it should, because he's so weak. Ugh. Um, make Murmuroth's horizontal attack movement faster, so he isn't as vulnerable. Vulnerable. I'm a good speller. Maybe he shouldn't be like weak to ice too. Wow, oh, that's that's probably a good thing. Just makes him a bit easy being able to freeze him with the ring. Okay, 
so so far it's really fun to have for all these bosses to have extra attacks and stuff but the only ones that have been difficult have been the first two because you have so little health and this wall boss because it's just so freaking close it's like it's really hard to beat him because you got to get every single hit in with the cursed ring to make enough damage Forty-five. Okay, well, let's get to that other dungeon. Try it one more time. I'm afraid. <laughs> Is this possible? Cool, I got full health this time. That's good. Oh, that's so great. I just warped to here with full health. All right, let's do this. So much damage I just didn't do right there. try and if that doesn't work I'm gonna have to go to the, to the ship dungeon which will really help actually because I'll have the um ship dungeon because of the having the second level blink kind of blink away from his attacks on this jeez uh, I don't know if that's gonna happen now you gotta make every single one of these things you gotta dodge every one of his attacks and hit him just like 90% of the time you can't miss even a second third time in a row he disappeared good thing I added that fix that happens. So that's the third, no, fourth time I've died fighting that boss. Not easy. Really, this is the only boss I'm considering actually changing his health for the, if you have the ring. Oh, wait, I haven't even done the poison. That might help. Do poison. Sword. He hurt the, that boss. Oh, I could go get fear too. What I crap fear with you? Fear bombs, the fear blink. Mm -hmm. 
Or Jib Shield being feared. Lightning would be good too, but I don't know where either of those are in this world. I'm not sure where to get more cash either. So, it's, it's probably just right there though. Store there. That doesn't have it. It must be on the left. Lightning or fire, this would definitely help. I can add that to some other weapon. Is it right here? No, this is the... What the hell is the other store? difference between beating that boss and not beating that boss. Oh. Son of a bitch. Fire and lightning must be in the dungeons. Oh well. Do I want either of these? Get the magnetic top hat drones. Oh. 
Thank you, Songbringer. I love you, Songbringer. Um, you need the captain's note. Where are you going? We gotta do this, we gotta beat this. You know what? Shoot, I might have to get going right now, actually. Uh, we can do one more dungeon. One more boss. One more boss. Save the rest for this for later, though. Okay, so we're gonna craft the proton shield with fear. So we can have a little bit of an extra advantage, especially during the last few bosses, because Vel will get her her blast will have fear attached to it, which will do a lot of extra damage. I can in this dungeon. Like, uh, there's gonna be a life container. Blink! This is gonna really help. Level blink will really be awesome. and the final boss much, much easier. health as I can on the ground here for the way back. So if you're just tuning into the stream, I'm playing Songbringer on hard mode basically. You get this one item called Yale Snare. It's the cursed ring which makes all enemies have more hit points, do more damage, and have more intelligence. And all the bosses have special attacks. I've had a lot of trouble fighting the first two bosses. And this eighth boss, which is crazy hard. So there may be some balancing to do here. This is exactly what I wanted to accomplish: was to just basically assess the difficulty level. You know, make sure things are definitely a good, healthy challenge, but not impossible. So so far, it's all been possible, except for this wall boss. Let's see. I'm gonna actually. I've had to do two more dungeons just to be see if I could have more health and. I'm gonna do more damage. I guess I'm doing a little more damage because I got poison sword. 
and Jib Shield. I could get Vel even and fight this last. Oh, yeah, I could get Vel. That might help. Let's try it without Vel first. So, this boss has a new special attack where she surrounds herself with lightning like that and charges you. This kind of does so quite a bit of damage, I think. Should not be able to be frozen. Pretty much all the bosses shouldn't be able to be frozen with the rain. It just makes it too easy. I did that for actually two or three of the bosses. I forgot which has a little part of the off. Was in that so accessible in this world. Yeah! Oh! Uh, that boss is easy, even with the ring. But I think it'll be a lot less easy with that without her being able to be frozen, so that will help. So good little adjustments. Mostly I've actually been adjusting to make the bosses even more difficult so far with the ring. Or I will make these adjustments, but yeah, I'm still wondering about this wall boss. I have to fight him with without Bell. And then try him. Try him with Bell if I can't still can't beat him. He might need to have just the same amount of health as he does normally. Just make sure that I can't do this. Okay, this time we're gonna save the smith! Yay, smithy! Come with me, smithy! I didn't even need all that. Let's do this, smith! Don't tell me I gotta walk all the way up there. Forgot to enable that one. Oh, I can take this shortcut. Oh, I definitely should have a flask. If I can get to this dungeon and then warp over there.
to get both these flasks refilled. I got the cash for that. Nice. Son of a... One flask, that should be enough. Okay, so, um, I do gotta get going here. It's late in the day for me. So, this will be the last time I fight this boss. Hopefully I can beat him. I'll refill my health halfway through the fight. Get the flask ready to go. Last 12 bombs. I can do this. Come on. Come on. Okay, this is the last boss fight I could do tonight now, though. I'm gonna have to save my progress here and get some thoughts on the cursed ring with these last bosses later. Let's see if we can do this. right when uh, I didn't even lose much health there. Thing is, if I take out the if I use the flask, it's gonna cost me time. I could be damaging him, so that's possible okay that was the, oh that was the trick man is like using that flask right there really helped dodging all his attacks helps I guess it is somewhat forgiving in the sense that you can miss a few hits like a few seconds worth of hitting him you just gotta be okay it's done it's doable okay I don't have to change that boss it's a good challenge level it's a really good challenge level with the ring so there you go okay so I've um I've done all the bosses except for the tower um let me save my game here buy both these spirits though save my game and I'll finish this up later oh son of a uh, Diamonds do I need? I need one diamond. I can find a diamond. Oh, but Jib's not here. That means I gotta walk across some grass. Diamond, diamond, diamond. There we go. <laughs> All I had to do was, th was think diamond. I gotta get going. Alright, there we go. I got flasks ready to do these last bosses. I'm gonna have to do that tonight though, because I'm running out of time here. So, I'm saving my game and saying thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. See y'all next time.
Curse Ring's looking pretty good. It's a good challenge level. I like this the way it is. I'm, I was worried it, it might be way too difficult, but it's actually just about right. It just makes it like super challenging, but worth it challenging. So, cheers everybody. See ya.